Leo, 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 welcome to your March 2021 tarot and astrology reading. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle, and we are not all love, light, twin flames, and unicorns over here, so please keep that in mind. And yeah, welcome to your reading. Basically, the astrology portion of this reading will resonate most if you are Leo rising, but you may notice some themes if you are Leo sun or moon, so make sure to watch your other sign readings. The tarot portion can resonate with you um, whether you're a Leo sun, moon, or rising, but still it is general, so do keep that in mind. Now, let go. So this month is so interesting, um, Leo. Like it's it's insane, um, especially for us if we're a Leo rising. But you know, like I said, you may notice some things if you are not, if you're a Leo sun or moon as well. So basically, what is going on this month is this can be kind of a tough time for some Leos uh, of the year uh, because we're dealing with Pisces energy, which is water and fire does not go well with water, right? But also Pisces is our eighth house sector, right? So this deals with um, the depths of life, the hard challenges of life, but also finances, other people's money, other people's resources, assets, finances, resources that we share with another person, organization, or institution. So we can deal with, this could deal with like your partner's money. If you have a partner and you guys are living together or sharing things, you know, this could deal with someone that owes you money or you that owes the, or if you owe someone else's uh, someone else money. This can also deal with debt right? Paying off debt, your credit score, uh, banks and loans and things like this. So, and this can also deal with the hard truth of mortality as well, right? And so this is a very transformative time <laughs> for uh, Leos, you know? And so can also bring up our fears as well. Our fears, our insecurities around other people. Um, basically the karmic ties and commitments or the hard commitments that we can share with other people. But it's not necessarily all doom and gloom. I mean, there is, this is a good time to focus on business decisions, uh, you know, to get your finances in order, to pay off certain things or to get good news about paying off certain things or some kind of money that's owed to you. Um, so this is a really good time for that. But also this month with Mars entering the sign of Gemini, and for the next two months, it's gonna be there, we are gonna start noticing an extreme motivation um, doing what we wanna do when it comes to our place in the world, our ambitions, our dreams in this life, what we wanna accomplish in this life. But not only that, other people networking. Um, this is a month where you could get into some kind of partnership with somebody or you could be working with somebody or you could be, um, you know, possibly having some kind of uh, business partnership in some way, but basically, or you could also be working with like like-minded people or doing something with groups of people, like-minded people taking some kind of class or course. Um, that would probably be a little bit more towards the end of the month, but it is possible um, as well either way. So um, that is, you know, those are the major themes that we're gonna start seeing. So it is kind of brightening up, uh, but there are still some things there that we could have come up this month and we're going to talk about it. So anyways, so yeah, basically, Leo, I think that this month you are, you know, you've been very motivated the last two months since the year started to really start focusing on your future, really start focusing on your career. Uh, you've possibly been, uh, also focusing on authority figures and the world and things going on in the world with Mars in that 10th house sector, um, or else uh, also your achievements, your goals, your paths, what, what you've achieved in this life and your legacy, what you wanna leave behind. Um, but that energy is switching with Mars moving into Gemini around the third or fourth. So you're gonna be very focused on you know, your place in the world and other people and putting yourself out there and wanting to um, possibly connect with other people or help other people or so, uh, in some way, you know, getting involved with groups or masses of people or, you know, certain social circles or something like that, uh, where you could definitely kind of network, you know, this is really about networking uh, with Mars here and you're going to be noticing those themes over the next couple months. So that motivation is definitely really coming in. Um, so also on top of that, uh, on the fourth, 
you want to watch out for some themes with Mercury conjunct Jupiter in that seventh house area of possibly some kind of good news, some kind of realization, or some kind of announcement or conversation to do with relationships, okay? This is going to be a massive time of expanding with relationships. This could also be money um, that your partner gets or money that you get from someone else um, or something along those lines because Jupiter does rule the eighth house sector uh, for you. This could be something to do with clients as well. Um, so this is definitely an, a time of expanding something uh, to do do with possibly business, relationships, clients, um, you know, love partnerships, things like this. So you could definitely notice uh, those themes around the fourth. So definitely let me know if you do. And then around the fifth, we have uh, the sun uh, coming into a conjunction with Neptune. Um, it's still building, so it's not exact that day, but over those next few days, it will come into a conjunction. You'll start feeling it probably around the fifth in your eighth house sector. So there may be a lot of illus uh, um, illusory energy around that time. You could be feeling a little bit confused, but there could also be something like forgiven, like a debt forgiven or you know something like that or a payment kind of forgiven. Um, you do want to watch out around that time. You could be a little bit forgetful or there could be a lot of memories coming up, a lot of synchronicities coming up. You know, Neptune really dissolves the lines of reality, the boundaries of reality. And so conjunct the sun, the sun is definitely putting a light on that energy, uh, you know, making it very apparent. Uh, so those are kind of some things that you want to watch out for. But um, yeah, I feel like this is definitely going to probably have something to do with money or finance for you, but also watch out, make sure that you're not being deceived around that time as well, because the deception energy could be pretty big around that time. On the 12th through 13th, we have the Pisces new moon happening. And uh, this is going to be very interesting because it's going to be conjunct Neptune and Venus and sextiling Pluto in our fourth house of Scorpio. So this is definitely going to be some kind of new beginning with finances, shared resources, um, possibly, uh, you know, planting the seeds for some kind of new beginning uh, to really do with um, finances, resources, business, services, uh, other people's money, um, shared resources, shared finances, your partner's money, or possibly like a partner in general. Um, so definitely watch out for those themes around that time. It could also bring up possibly some fears or um, some things that you somehow need to work through, okay, that you've been holding on to. So um, yeah, and then basically, other than that, you know, we're going to have Mars coming up around on the north node. You're going to start feeling that probably around like the 20th or the 21st in your 11th house. So you're going to be very driven to go after a dream around that time or to go after some kind of vision or to network with other people to, um, you know, go after your ambition. So you're going to be feeling very ambitious this month. So that's really, really cool. Um, and also we have the Libra full moon on the 28th, um, which is going to be in your third house sector. So there could be something that you're wrapping up to do with learning something that you've been learning or a new skill that maybe you've been learning. Um, there could also be um, something to do with siblings or relatives or community or friends around that time. There could be some kind of meeting that you're having around that time. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to definitely be very interesting. So let's go ahead and get into your cards, Leo. We have the after the storm card coming up here. So a lot of you guys may have been um, dealing with some chaos here the last couple of months or may have been going through something challenging the last few months where uh, I, I'm really getting it with something possibly uh, very emotional, um, very uh, draining or emotional or almost felt like a purging in some way. And lately you've been finally kind of rising above that. Or I'm also getting that for some of you, you guys are finally healing something that you've been trying to heal for a long time. And now you're like seeing the bigger picture or the payoff of this. Um, you know, for some of you, maybe not all of you, but you're finally rising above you know, you're kind of like rising from the ashes, Leo, which is really cool. Um, you're, there's some kind of new perspective coming in here for you at the beginning of the month, so watch out for that. Um, we also have trust yourself. So for some of you, um, I think you could be sometime this month possibly second guessing yourself a lot or feeling a little bit insecure in your own abilities, feeling a little bit insecure in yourself for some reason or another. And I'm really getting here that 
Um, I know like trusting yourself is easier said than done. It's easy to just be like, yeah, trust yourself, her, her, her. But like, it's so much easier to say that than to do it, right? Like, how do you trust yourself? Well, you trust yourself by finding out why the hell you don't trust yourself, right? Um, why don't you trust yourself? Because the reason that you don't trust yourself is because you are in conflict with yourself and you go against yourself all the freaking time. And so to kind of mend that trust, you know, to kind of bring that back together, you have to start showing up for yourself. You have to start putting in and trusting yourself enough to say, okay, like I know that I don't want to do this, so I'm not going to do it. Instead of being like, well, I would feel bad, like, you know, what if this person thinks this or what if this person thinks that? And, um, you know, no, you can't, you can't do that. So you have to start uh, putting in the effort, putting in the work and integrating instead of separating or being in conflict with yourself. So we also have the card inspiration, which like I said, you're definitely gonna be feeling inspired this month. You're definitely gonna be uh, connecting, networking, possibly doing something on social media. You may be inspiring other people this month as well, Leo. So this is really awesome. Um, and I think through that, you're going to be confident. You're going to feel empowered. Um, and then we also have defend to the end the worthwhile. Um, so this to me is also very interesting. You know, we have two owls here in both of these, uh, you know, pictures here, which is interesting. So, um, whoop. <laughs> So I feel like you may be defending someone or a group of people or even yourself this month, Leo. You may get into a situation where you need to step up and defend yourself. And um, I think that's what this trust yourself card could be about. Um, because I am even seeing your tarot cards, we start off with the hanged man. Some of you guys have been possibly feeling a little bit stuck for a little bit, right? You've been feeling a little bit stuck. Um, possibly having trouble discerning like which way you want to go or surrendering something or not really sure what you want to do about something. And so I feel like, you know, with the Six of Swords, you've been trying to get out of this mentally. You've been trying to escape um, this kind of stuck feeling, but you really haven't, you know, like it. And so you just keep feeling more and more stuck with this Four of Pentacles here. And the stuckness is coming from something physical like money, um, you know, something that you own, a home, or, um, you know, something like that. It's coming from something physical that you feel you need in order to get unstuck. And I think this month is like showing you that you really don't need all of that. You have to integrate. You have to bring the different things together, the different conflicts within you together. It's like, okay, I'm not going to sit here and wait around for this part of me and this part of me to be on the same page or for this fear and this desire to be on the same page. Like, I'm just going to bring them all with me and we're just going to go and we're just going to do it. You know, that's what the chariot is. So you're like, you know, you have this drive, this dedication, this inspiration to finally move forward and go after what you want, um, which is going to help you so much in facing your fears and taming your fears so they don't control you. When we face these fears, when we face, you know, these insecurities, these deep traumas that we have, we are able to tame the beast within instead of it controlling us. You know, this is an example of it controlling us or even facing it. You know, it may, it may not even be it controlling her. Like crying can be a way to face it. Crying can be a way to finally be like, okay, I'm just going to let this bitch out. I'm just going to feel this even though I don't want to. Um, that's also a way of facing it. So you're not repressing it, you know, like repressing the fear, repressing the insecurities, re repressing the trauma and the um, emotions and all of that does not make it go away. It just makes it control us subconsciously. It haunts us. And so facing it is what is going to bring you strength. That is where your strength is going to come from. You don't need strength to face it. You really don't. It's really just a decision. Um, so that's really awesome. That's really beautiful. So then we have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I see you guys are definitely going to be inspired to work on something, definitely driven to work on something. You may be changing something up in your work life, or if you're working on a project or a career or whatever, you're changing something up here, um, which is really cool. You're going after possibly something new. Um, and then we also have the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, which really tells me that you're definitely physically planting seeds. You are definitely physically moving forward with something. You are definitely um, 
building something, you know, starting to really build something this month uh, to do with business, work, finances. And then we have the four of pin or the four of wands, which is basically where you reach this milestone of celebration and feel kind of proud of yourself and happy for yourself. Like, holy shit, you know, I did it. So it's like you're kind of building something and, and also hitting a milestone this month of celebration, which is just really fucking cool, Leo. You know, this is a really good reading. Um, it's very inspiring. Hopefully you got something from it. Hopefully it inspires you. Uh, definitely let me know if you end up seeing any of these themes happening this month, Leo. I'd really love to hear about it. And I will let you guys go. Make sure to follow me on social media uh, for other predictions or to tag me, um, you know, and let me know if you end up seeing any of these themes. And yeah, I will see you guys in my other videos.